Jan from Jan's Art. I just wanted to give you a little um, look, see at how I'm doing on my latest uh, Penny Hinnies creation. This is my off to pit. Um, I finished the girl. I'm more than halfway through the 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 man, the miner, and then I've got the Penny Hinny to do. But I'm working at the moment on the miner's boots. So at the minute, I've got a separate layer, like layer eight. And I'm just putting in a nice gray. Right. I'm using Procreate, um, an app on my iPad Pro. And what I've done is I've, I've already sketched out the outline and inked it in in black. And I'm just painting underneath the outline. It's just a lot easier, you see. Okay, there's one boot. Let's do the other boot. Whoops. Going onto the um, steel toe cap, and I want to do that separately. Now the layer that I'm working on is underneath all the other layers. So when I come up to the stocking foot of my penny hinny, it makes a lovely line. You see, it doesn't doesn't go onto it. So because it's underneath. Okay, let's fill this in. Put a bit of a bit of an overspill there. That's Lily barking in the garden. My uh, Samoid. This is going on lovely. This is so relaxing. If you've got an iPad, um, download Procreate and just have fun colouring in. Or even creating art. Uh, I like what I'm doing. Yeah. Right, so I've got that bit done. Actually, there's a little bit here. There we go. Right, now I need to get some texture to this, to these boots. So there's the boots that I've drawn. You see the red shoes that the little girl's wearing? They are mummy's going out shoes. But these are the dad's pit boots. So I've got to make them look like pit boots. So I'll create a new layer on top. Turn that into a clipping mask. And let's get some black. And let's look for a texture that I can use for these boots. Maybe that texture. Right, I'm gonna give it a try. It may work, it may not, but I just wanna have a look. Oh, it's too small. Let's raise it up a bit. There we go. It's very dark, isn't it? I'm gonna to have to um, reduce that. Oh, I don't like that one. I'm going to take it off, so let's clear that. Let, let's find another pattern. Okay, let's try charcoal burnt tree, see what this does. Just reduce it a little bit. Make the size a little bit bigger. Oh, that's better. Yes, 
look at that. That's a better effect, see? Just reduce it a little bit. There we go. Let's make it a little bit lighter. A few little places. There we be. That's it. Get some like cool dust everywhere, see? That's it. Let's try a little bit finer. Let's go for 6B compressed. What am I in? I'm in chart. Yeah, 6B compressed. That might, that might be nice. Let's try that. Let's go for a little bit darker. Yeah. That's better. Just to make them look covered in dusty cool and he's worn them a few times okay right what I want to do now is I just want to use a an eraser and just pick out I haven't done it in 100% but I just want to pick out Just a little bit of edging. That's it. Maybe in between. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'm gonna use a a lighter tone and just maybe put in a Do the same on this boot, just as the edge of the. There we go. Right. Now what I want to do is I just want to pick out just a little bit of this Oops. edging. this part that's it maybe a little bit of edging just there maybe not so much an airbrush okay now let's just put some a little bit of airbrush stuff in here oh yes that's better just gets rid of the contrast okay I'll come, I'm going to come back to the laces because I just want to leave the laces alone for a minute and then I'll do them separate Right. Sometimes you get a little mark like this when you've been drawing on something. So the easy way to find out where it's from, look, it's on layer 9. Let's just erase it. There we go. Layer 9 it was on. Right, so I've got my boots. Let's get back to my boots. Right, I now want to do some... Um, steel toenails, uh, to, uh, toenails, steel toe caps, boots. If you had steel toenails, it'd be Iron Man, wouldn't it? So I'm going to go to my inking pen. Let's get a nice blue. And, and let's just fill these in very, very quickly with a big fat brush. See, just erase little bits where I had a bit of an overspill, see? 
that's it. We'll back it up. Spill. That's it. Back the brush doesn't need to be so big. Here we go. Get rid of this edging over spill. And let's do the same on this side. Okay. This is my base tone. Well, there's still the toe caps. Let's create a, a clipping mask just above it. Right, let's go to a grey. Go to my airbrush. What I want to do is I want to just get a, a nice little... Little bit grey hairbrush. Let's go to white and let's just put in some a bit of steel there. Okay, right. Now this is too shiny, so I have to dirty it up a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm just putting in a few little dents and dents. It's been around these boots, you see. And let's go for a, a darker grey. That's it. Just a few little. Maybe another one there or something. Okay. Right, let's go back to me blue. Make a little bit more blue going on here. Maybe a little bit of blue down here on the edges. That's it. A bit of blue up there. Right, I need to add a texture so. I'm going to add another clipping mask and let's go to see what we've got for a bit of texture spires. Will that, will that do what I want it to do? Let's try. I don't know if this will work. I'm just trying different effects. Oops. Okay, I'm getting a, a little bit of mottled effect, which is which is kind of nice. But just a little bit. Let's try. Oh, I was on snow gum. That's why. Let's try spires now. See what I get. Okay. Let's add a little bit of dark blue that's it now I'm starting to get something that's a little bit more like steel toe caps let's go to a white just a few little bits of Highlights. There we go. There we go. It's just going on lovely. This. Well impressed with this. Right. Let's just blacken them up a little bit more. Make them join the the leather of the boots. Different. Oh, look at that. That's better. Actually, this is quite. I like this um, 
brush that I've got at the minute. It's called Spires. I'm going to go back to my boots and maybe try a little bit on the boots look. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yes. The lovely texture. You see, a lot of it is hit and miss. Let's go back to the texture of the steel toe caps. Let's try some white. It's a little bit of a few little dints of white there. Look, brilliant. Let's go back to the boots. The leather of the boots. Oh yes, look at that. Let's try a light. Um, oh, let's try a brown. Hmm? Put some brown into the leather, eh? Okay. Go back to a grey. That's it. Try a dark blue, maybe. Go with the black. That's better. Oh, I'm getting a lovely effect. Okay, I want to try something. Go to the grey. I'll change the brush. Let's try rainforest. That was fun. Little tabs here and there. Let's go for a darker. Maybe. Ah, oh, that's better. It's just playing about with different. Too much. I do. do. Right, let's do the soles. Can we get another layer? Yes, we can. Let's just go back to inking. And let's just put in some soles. Okay. This is a black. And there's no arguing with this. It's definitely black. Okay, let's put in a bit of black on this side. Let's just bring it a bit of... Oh, that's a bit better. Right, all I'm doing is I'm just adding a more redder black. A little bit redder. See? That's better. Alright. Now, if I... Can I get another... Yes, I can get another layer in. So I'm going to add a little bit of sheen. So I'll get a bit of grey. And I'll use... My noise brush. And we'll just put a little bit of, little bit of sheen in there, look. Just enough. There we go. Let's make it a little bit lighter. That's it. Oh, look at that. In there. Right, there's a nice nice little brush I like to use here in abstract called Spicule. Now if I just change the make it a 
bit bigger. And I get these lovely little everyday scratches, you see. Put some white ones in. Go. Put some black ones in. Eh? Balance it up a little bit, eh? There we go. Let's go back to my brush. Let's get a lighter shade just for that little bit of topness, change it to ink, and let's just put it, there we go, it's got a little bit of the spicule pattern in it, but that's not a problem, because I'll get around that, do the same with this, if I go to a puppet and go to an eraser brush, and just erase, Oh, just to get the colour back. That's it. All right, I just want to add some jet black just under these parts. See? Just repeat it on there. Maybe erase it. So you can see the blackness now. I'm getting the, the workman boots the way I want them. So let's go to this and let's just bring a little bit of the I'm on the right, oh, I'm on the wrong ones. That's the one I should have been on. Right, let's just bring a little bit of this back. There we go. Make it a little bit lighter. just to bring them back right let's do the same on this side okay now when I've got this up here I might as well just use them on the eyelets Bring the eyelets out. The ends of the laces. That's it. Let's go to some white. Just a touch. Just a touch. That's all you need. start reducing some of these so let's merge that down which is the leather let's merge the boots down and that part merge it down merge it down so there we go I've got the boots now I can start Adding a new layer, 
and this is going to be just for the laces okay so what we're going to do is going to add some brown laces okay so what i want to do is i'm going to go to inking uh, i want the full opacity there we go brilliant now i'm going to dirty these laces up i just wanted to make them a little bit different from the black if they were black or even dark gray you wouldn't really see much of them so all i'm doing is them out let's raise the nah, it's better it's the right thickness look see it's a nice colour as well it's a nice contrast it matches the trousers you see there we go okay so I've, I've done the laces I need to create one clipping mask above it and maybe start to do a little bit of highlight. So I'm going to use a charcoal. Go with compressed, which is quite nice. I like that. And maybe just add just where the eyelids are coming out, you see. There we go. Let's go back to inking. Let's get a lighter colour. And let's give them a little bit of a... Whoops. Too much. That's alright, I like that. a lighter brown go back to my charcoals and maybe just put a bit of a highlight in the middle there look on the edge there look see that's it let's go to a darker color maybe a black maybe not so so, let's dirty them up a little bit, see? Should we do the same on these? Oh. So, let's go back with a darker pencil. Just near the... That's it, let's get a brown. Just on the top. There we go. One pair of well scuffed pit boots. That's, I'm pretty happy with that. Thank you very much. Let's just add a clipping mask onto the boots themselves. Okay. And let's just. Work with the compressed and just maybe just a bit more on the that's it see just want to dirty them up a little bit near the top yeah and that is a good pair of pit boots see right Okay, well thanks for watching. I hope you've picked up one or two little tips when you're using Procreate. Especially when you haven't to paint some pit boots. Uh, thanks for watching everybody and I'll catch you again. Stay inside, stay safe and keep painting.